Good afternoon everyone, I'm Linear Circle, back at it again with another Tactical Assault VR video. Today I wanted to go over a small update patch that was given out today as of Saturday, April 15th. It is update 0.661, and I'm not going to go over everything for sake of time, but I will get the main details out of the way and we'll get into a uh, demonstration and overall mission video that I had planned. Um, I apologize due to being sick. Uh, I have lost my voice, but I decided to push myself to get this video out today. Um, thank you so much for being around, and I hope you enjoy the journey as much as I do to becoming a YouTuber. Thank you so much. So, some of the fixes that we've had are uh, avatar flickering when crouched has been fixed. Um, this was especially prevalent in my case when I was recording footage. Um, there would be hands flickering and resetting in front of the screen, blocking my view, and so that's been fixed. Um, the Glock magazine was still showing a bullet after full depletion, so that has also been fixed. So when it's fully empty, there will no longer be a bullet in the magazine. Some of the main additions have been a pouch identifier text toggle in settings, so that's nice. We've also had respawn modifier for single player and multiplayer, so instead of having two respawns per match, you can have no respawns or you can have up to five max. We've also had a new item stuck action, which means that weapons will no longer let go if the player collides with an object and the weapon gets stuck. Weapon and hands now teleport back to the player. So you can change this in your settings if you want that experience to be changed. We've also had a M4 bolt slap release, uh, so that means if you slap the bolt release on the left side of the M4A1 rifle, um, it will chamber a fresh round from the new magazine. So instead of manually gripping the magwell to release, you can just slap it and it'll send a round through. In addition to this, we've also had dedicated team comms in the PvP mode, whereas before anyone could speak to anyone regardless of whose team they were on. Um, the spotter scope has also received a variable zoom button to switch between two focal lengths, so that'll be helpful for your marksman teams. Uh, PvP mode has also allowed Hidden Forest to be played at night, uh, and a dump pouch has been added to your vest layout. You can fit up to two magazines in the dump pouch. So instead of dropping a magazine, if you want to retain a partially full magazine, so for example, if you fire 20 rounds and you want to keep the last 10, you can just slip the magazine in the dump pouch and finish up your reload. So that'll be very helpful for ammunition retention. In addition to this, we've also had, we've also had a few changes. So single player maps will now start out like multiplayer maps with a weapon loadout menu at the start. The health has been reduced for armored enemies and dead bodies will now stay for 15 seconds. The bodies become stiff after five seconds. Um, the player is also notified when they are downed and the recoil values have been adjusted. So increased full auto side to side recoil for higher caliber weapons. Uh, self shooting issue for players has been mitigated but not fully solved. I haven't experienced this myself but I've heard it from a few other people so I hope that works out. And uh, the enemy AI has also been restructured, so the enemy will no longer strafe, but they are more likely to prioritize finding and taking cover. Now the biggest and most important change for YouTubers like myself and for someone like Controlled Pairs who has done Tactical Assault VR videos in the past is the ability to use a spectator helmet cam. You can, uh, you can cycle through different cameras and you can press a button to go back to the main view. So I'm hopefully, I'm definitely going to be demonstrating that today in this video. So I want to thank you so much for sticking around in my time of absence. I have been uh, sick with a cold. I have lost my voice as you can tell. And I want to really thank my uh, now 50 subscribers for staying with me for the journey. I appreciate it. Thank you so much guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Remember to stay tactical, everyone, and have a great and safe weekend. Thank you so much.